Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, actually, last time we looked at uh, network topologies, and uh, today we are beginning the OSI model. But uh, guys, uh, this is my website, my personalized portfolio website. You get? Yeah, it's a simple website designed with Canva. Yeah, this is everything about me. I am an IT support specialist, cybersecurity specialist, red team operations specialist. Yeah, I have over seven years of experience, and today I'm an instructor at uh, LNS Cyber Consult, freelancer consultant, and I love uh, security related projects. I've done uh, projects, uh, red teaming, and uh, uh, pen testing um, uh, consultant, consultant work for various organizations across Africa. Yeah, and uh, I'm available for services in IT support, cyber security, and red teaming. Yeah, you can uh, contact me direct on uh, this number and uh, you can send me an email using this email address. Yeah, this is our platform for, for, for sharing uh, information with you. Yeah, you can see it's LNS uh, Cyber Consult. Yeah, and uh, we provide uh, English oriented uh, lessons and uh, still we provide uh, French oriented. Uh, lessons yeah this is me in english and this is shella in uh, french yeah but we are doing a very good job and guys you are doing a very good job too yeah but uh please uh tell more of your friends to subscribe so that we can make the channel grow faster as it's doing right now yeah because we need to reach 1000 in the next two months and we thank for uh, we thank you for all the support yeah, this is our Twitter account. So let's go to today's work that is the OSI model. Okay, uh, the OSI and uh, TCP models are the most popular models to understand the way various protocols you get uh, work together to understand the way various protocols work. I don't know. I think uh, I did this uh, presentation when I uh, I was a bit tired so but uh, please bear with me so uh, we have the seven layers of the OSI model first of all we have the application layer and uh, within the application layer we have uh, end users you get HTTP FTTP uh, FTP IRC SSH DNS then in the presentation layer we have syntax layer it's sorry it's the syntax layer and the application layer is the end user layer. Yeah, within uh, the presentation layer, we have SSL, SSH, <coughs> IMAP, FTP, MPEG, JPEG. Then in the session layer, that is uh, the synchronization and uh, send to port layer, we have API sockets and WinSock. WinSock is uh, for Windows. Yeah, if you're a Windows system programmer, you know about WinSock. Windsock. Windsock is for Windows sockets. Then we have the transport layer that is end to end uh, connection layer. We have TCP and UDP. Then we have the network layer, it's for packets, ICMP, IP, IPsec, IGMP. We shall look about details of this in uh, my sub cyber security course, uh, premiering next, uh, next Monday. All right. Then now we have the data link layer, um, that is uh, flames, you get, we have Ethernet, PPP, uh, we have switch, the bridges, all right. Then we have the physical layer, that is the physical structure, the coaxial cables, fiber cables, wireless um, routers, sorry, we have repeaters, no, router is uh, layer three. Uh, repeaters, we have hubs, <coughs> all right. Yes. Now let's look at uh, <coughs> attacks uh, that can be performed for different layers. In the application layer, mainly we have exploits. In the presentation layer, we have phishing attacks. In the session layer, we have hijacking attacks. In the transport layer, we have recognizance and surveillance. In uh, the network layer, we have many in the mid man in the middle attacks. In the data link, we have spoofing attacks. And in the physical layer we have sniffing attacks so let's look at uh, the application layer application layer includes uh, applications like browser word processor 
then type of uh, type of attacks that can be performed at the, at the application layer we have exploits these are embedded malicious code sorry exploits embed the malicious code into application logic to take full control of the system then the presentation layer yeah we the types of the attacks for this are mainly and uh, popularly uh, phishing attacks yeah, phishing, uh, phishing attacks include uh, sending email to various people with uh, malicious, malicious links. Then we have the session layer, and uh, the types of attack type of attacks for this layer uh, mainly are uh, hijacking attacks. In a uh, uh, in an hijacking attack, a hacker takes takes over an existing session, especially <coughs> sorry established legitimately by the user. Then, um, in uh, the transportation la transport layer or transportation layer, um, it's all about a recon recon that is reconnaissance and surveillance. You get, it's all done at this layer. Then uh, we have the network layer, and uh, the types, <coughs> the type of attacks for this type of layer mainly are uh, man in the mid attack. You get. And in uh, this kind of attack, a hacker places himself or herself between a legitimate user and a server, thereby eavesdropping on the traffic between transit. Then uh, on the dark talent layer, the types of attack, they are basically MAC address spoofing, you get? MAC address, these are globally, uh, globally unique addresses for each device. <coughs> and they are stamped actually on, on every network device and essential to the proper functioning of the LAN. LAN stands for local area networks. All right. Then uh, physical layer, the type, the types of attack for this are uh, mainly sniffing. That is the practice of watching or sh uh, shoulder. How is it called? I forgot. Uh, watching and uh, analyzing network traffic. Yeah. Even you can do, I'm forgetting, shoulder surfing, you get, whereby somebody is uh, seated doing something uh, on the computer and uh, you're standing by their shoulder, seeing what is being done. Alright guys, um, this is the end of this, and uh, we've looked at the OSI model and uh, the attacks for each layer of uh, the OSI model. See you guys in the next video.